Guys, Gerard the Lard, okay, this piece of garbage took $600,000. It was sitting in a fast food account for 10 years straight collecting hamburger interest. And there's people that are so cucked in his freaking comment section of his garbage videos. This piece of trash is such is, is so filthy and greedy that he's still uploading videos every single week on Saturday, like clockwork, on the dot every single time so you can continue collecting his ad set silently collecting it while this piece of garbage this fat idiot stays quiet about all the money that he didn't donate yeah he donated now in 2023 but how much goddamn interest has he collected since then you guys do realize that six hundred thousand dollars back then is not the same amount in terms of inflation and all that crap to six hundred thousand dollars as of this day that's what this piece of trash did. He was collecting interest on it. He made some money. And now all of a sudden people are like, oh, he's, he's, you know, it's just, he's just a sad man. And you know, he's just trying his best. No, he's not. Okay. The guy ate, ate, ate food nonstop into his fat gut. For Pulling one yeah. thread about the charity thing is going to upheave my entire life in a way that scares the living crap out of me for 10 years straight he's the same friggin greasy neckbeard sits at indie land aka shovelware land some friggin garbage convention where a bunch of cocked developers get together to try to sell you their friggin pixelated graphic uh platformer for 49 cents on the dollar no i do not want to play that game all right there's been a million of these on steam i don't want to play your garbage pixelated platformer i had enough of it i'm sick of it okay the last thing i want is that and then here you have some fat neck beard with his stupid sequential excel purple grimace tea sitting on a goddamn diarrhea colored couch stretching out the goddamn seat cushion ruining the couch experience for everyone no one else is even sitting on his porch he, he has a freaking three three man couch just for himself because his freaking behind is so wide and low and wide and all that crap this guy's a sequential XL diaper he's launching rocket deuces in at the same time he's sitting there you know soiling himself he's such a fat idiot he's breaking all the goddamn indie land toilets he's sitting there with his popcorn chicken mic talking into it telling people it's all for charity we've raised over almost almost a million dollars in the last uh last seven years for a good cause guys it's all it's all for a good cause donate your twitch bits no you're not getting more bacon bits gerard the lard okay you bought enough of it at walmart and you're drinking it like it's a freaking drink no you're not freaking drinking bacon bits anymore i had enough of it and this piece of trash is like oh donate your subs no we're not gonna let you freaking buy a mr sub foot long and also buy the same foot long at subway no one does that except you because your freaking fat gut is so big it has its own gravitational force the first planet mercury is the freaking cheeseburger and then the freaking next planet is a double cheeseburger dressed like a mac the third planet is a big mac and the goddamn asteroid belt freaking around your gut gravitational force has got chicken mcnuggets all this guy does is think about food. There's literally pictures of him on Instagram looking at food with his greasy neck beard dabbed at the bottom with sweet and sour sauce. He's got a half-eaten chicken butt on the left side. And all that food, you must ask yourself, where did he get all the money for that food? That's 600. Here's the boofy. Here you go. How you doing? You okay? thousand dollars you donated your hard-earned money you're working nine to five you friggin got your you got in your feelings when he was talking about dementia and research why you know why people do that because you there's a good chance you may have had a grandma or a grandpa or a mom or dad or somebody you know that got diagnosed with cancer or dementia or diagnosed with this and he's playing on your feelings and then you teenager you're so cucked you're gonna ask your little mommy give me your credit card please i need to donate to some fat jolly old man that looks like the anti-Santa. He's the anti-Santa because instead of a white beard, this guy's walking around with a black beard and instead of actually giving out gifts, this guy's receiving gifts because he's a greedy little prick. He's a greedy little prick that dwells in his basement. Smelly basement filled with freaking dog feces and cat piss. And this guy's freaking crushing his left dog, his dog with his left fat Hellboy forearm. And on the right side, the cat is freaking hungry because Gerard's been eating up all the cat food and dog food. He thinks it's a freaking a chili, a chili uh, collage or something. And then the cat goes up his arm and eats the goddamn life side of Gerard's hair because he hasn't gotten a haircut in ages. All donations, all super chats, all YouTube memberships, Basically, anything that's tied to donating or subscribing in a financial way to us is going to charity. We're not touching any of it. 
It's all going for a good cause. If you want to help us out, here's some great ways. Because he found the key to success. Gerard Delard's key to success is look as fat and disgusting as possible so people on the outside don't friggin' suspect this greasy bastard as a friggin' scam artist. And it friggin' worked for 10 years. 10 years, his gut got fatter and fatter, his friggin' rolls got flabby and flabber, his friggin' back of his neck looks like a pack of bacon from Food Basics. He's sitting there, and his friggin' neck beard got longer and longer and greasier and greasier, okay? This guy's talking about in his, remember in his video he made, like, this is my response video. He's sitting in front of his modern brick background, okay, like a fat lard. He's reading off a script, by the way, which his own team, his own cucked incel team that does all the work for him. They play the games, they capture the video, they capture the audio, they create the script, they do this, they do that. They do the whole work and this fat neckbeard sits in front of his modern brick background reading off a script with his hot breath acting like he knows everything. He doesn't know anything, all right? So he's sitting there and it's- <laughs> I'm not trying to be like, do you guys want money to help me hide this? It's not, this is at all. Friggin' uh, neckbeard is so greasy that you know how he's saying in the video, oh, I wish I was more transparent. Dude, the only thing transparent, Gerard the lard, is the friggin' napkin you use to clean your goddamn mouth from all that grease. That napkin's got greasy and transparent while your fat gut is getting thicker and thicker. Uh, no one can see through you. No one can see even past you because you're the fat idiot that stands at uh, McDonald's and you're standing in line ordering everything on the menu, including the, all the purple Grimace toys. And then the friggin' poor little Timmy sit stands standing behind you, smelling the friggin' B.O. emanating off your friggin' fat body, can't even see the goddamn menu that's on the ceiling, because your fat neck is friggin' covering up all the view, idiot, okay? And then, and then you're such a fat neckbeard, you order a, you order a sequential XL blazer and suit. I don't know where the hell you got that, but you went to some fat and big shop. You got your sequential XL suit, and then you're sitting at a friggin' G4 while that woke libtard cuck a uh, frost is on a little woke rant talking about whatever this and whatever. I don't even know what it was about. And then you see friggin' Gerard uh, the Lard sitting there at the edge of his seat. By the way, the edge of that couch is now broken. Thanks a lot, Gerard, you fat idiot. You're sitting there and you got your friggin' uh, knock, you got your fist on your little uh, chin there. Especially because this is such a personal thing for the last 25 years of my life. With, with the knees going on and you're like, oh, I'm so excited. No, you're not. You're thinking about your next order at Taco Bell. You're thinking about the next chili cheese burrito that you're gonna inhale in one friggin' bite the same way Kirby does. That's why you're the same fat idiot that uploaded Kirby's Triple Deluxe Cheese Pizza because you couldn't wait to friggin' go home, order a pizza pizza delivery right to your fat gut and of all the triple cheese, triple toppings, triple deluxe, whatever, stuffed crust, whatever the hell you wanna think about it and then you wanna just stuff that in your fat mouth because you just wanna get fatter and fatter. You need somewhere to use all that money, right? $600,000 that you took, hard earned people's money sitting they're like a fat idiot. You need to you find some ways to do that. How do you do that? You friggin' friggin' order DoorDash deliveries. It's sitting on the, the you got the phone laying on your friggin' crotch because you have stage 10,000 diabetes because you're a fat neck beard. You can't get a heart on if your friggin' life depended on it. That's why you had a hot chef named friggin' Rosanna uh, trying to cook you some salad here and something like that. But you're such a fat neck beard that you're wringing out the salad of all the Caesar sauce, putting it in a baby bottle and drinking it by the gallon because you'd like the taste of Caesar sauce, but you hate the thought of celeries. That's why the last planet in your gravitation... The last thing I want to do is ruin the legacy of my family, of my mom and her memory. National force is Pluto, which is actually a celery stick. You can't even reach it because you, you don't want to reach it. It's a piece of salad. It's healthy for you. But instead, you're going to ask your hot chef Rosanna to bake you a freaking Donkey Kong Country icing cake. So not only can you smother your face in it and make love to it, you're going to sit there and eat it like freaking nonstop right into your goddamn gut. Hey, draw the complete cuck. Remember when you're on your Twitch stream, huh? And you're tongue kissing your dog, asking for friggin' sympathy points. That's all it was. You faked a goddamn Twitch donation on that Twitch stream. You're like, oh, I don't know why the notification didn't come. Yeah, because you faked it. You want people to start doing that again because you're a greasy little bastard. Go out there and get a goddamn job like you're supposed to, you stupid prick. Go to Best Buy and make up another friggin' story that the guy told you do this, do that. Shut up. No one friggin' believes you. Everyone knows as a little friggin' cuck that you are that took $600,000 and you did not take your little cupcake checkbook to the friggin' bank and friggin' donate that $660,000 to, to the charity of your choice. We're not talking about the Open Mouth Foundation, you stupid prick. I run my own charity called the Open Hand Foundation, and all the money that we aggregate 
I've been, I started it when I was a young, a young boy with my dad in honor of my mom who had dementia. And so, uh, we just, every year we try and raise as much money as possible.